Sod is dying. The sod numbers are down and it's not looking good. Okay. Today, we're gonna discuss why this is happening and some potential ideas of what Blizzard can do to help the situation. Okay. Before we get started, remember to hit subscribe. This is all dark, okay? I recently had a discussion with my chat about what they didn't like about phase three mm -hmm. and why. That being said, let's get into some of the problems with phase three. Okay. Starting with number one, nightmare incursions. <laughs> nightmare incursions are the fastest way to level, the most profitable, and they provide you with the best gear. Yep. Six of six, previous armor set that you can pretty much go straight into ST Insane. with and just clear all the content. Now it's not the only way to level, but if you make one way of leveling the best way by a landslide in comparison to the other options, it forces players to feel like it's the only way to play. I mean, it, it really was a, Ah, man, I was so hyped for incursions, man. I I, I was I was kind of hoping it was going to be some instance thing you could do once per day or something like that, and you could have some fun with it. It just turned out to be way too good, man. I never even worried or like thought about farming any prebis whatsoever, because what was the point, right? Why would you level a character any other yeah. way when you can get the fastest XP, True. a lot of gold, and gear for doing it. Mm -hmm. The problem with this is it goes against everything Classic WoW is about. Yeah, kind Exploring of. the world, taking your time, and feeling immersed in the gaming experience. Now Classic WoW is just running laps in a nightmare incursion with a quest sharing add-on. Uh. Runes. Some runes are incredibly hard and tedious to get. At mm. this point, Should most classes have about 25 runes. And speaking for the mage players, getting 25 books from different locations around the world is not exactly how I like to spend my time in the game. This I, I will I will disagree with the with the runes. I I, I don't think the runes were, were that horrible in the way that you're supposed to get it. Um, I do think some of them are very, very difficult, but I think it, it goes with the fact that like you would have to talk to people about it. Like, oh, did you hear about this rune or have, have you gotten further with this and that? You weren't supposed to just like completely ignore everybody and do it yourself, right? You're supposed to like talk to each other. I also think a major thing, he's probably going to get into this a little bit later in the video. It's a quite short video, by the way. Uh, but I think the fact that the phases are like two, three, four months, even like, kind of quite long is... Killing people's hype a little bit, right? Because there's only a limited amount of content you can do within like a 10 levels, right? And then like a raid. So people are just kind of waiting for the next content over and over again, right? I think time gating the content is good, but I think for an overall hype thing, it was quite long to wait, right? People reach a point where they kind of just don't even play and then they, you know, wait for the next phase. It could take upwards of five to six hours for a player to farm one rune. Especially if they aren't buying summons from a warlock summon bot posted up around the world. Yeah, All okay. Players have to understand that Sod has nothing to do with Classic except that it's in the Classic world. Any other uh, points has nothing to do with the Classic playstyle. Yeah, I mean, Sod is not Classic. It is definitely not at all. Um, I, I think it's an interesting take on Classic, and I think overall the experience for myself has been quite enjoyable. The launch was amazing, there were so many people playing, like finding the runes, it was so cool, like with the different kind of raids and stuff like that, but it's not Classic WoW, right? For sure, it, it is a different experience, right? And I, I don't think it's dying to, you know, to, uh, 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 what is it called, talking about the, 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 I guess the big clickbait in the title, but I just think it's kind of how it works with these phases. People just start raid locking after they've finished off their character, right? Also, you can make runes like Dark Riders account wide. It would be pretty poggers not to have to do that on every character. If yeah. you have this annoying okay, type of enough. content that people don't enjoy the first time, they're going to be way less fired up to do it on an alt. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's fair, happened fair in Season of Discovery. Some people don't even want to level alts just because of how long it takes to get all the runes. Class design. Fair this point. is probably the most important part of an MMO experience. Mm -hmm. Is your class fun to play? Speaking for the mages, in P3, we're pretty much a frost firebolt machine in the raids. I mean, isn't that classic well? <laughs> Listen, man, you're, getting, you're pressing a new button though. Hey, dude, instead of pressing frostbolt, now you're pressing frost firebolt. Holy. It's not very exciting. I mean, I guess you don't have to play frost firebolt spec, but most players are going to play the class the optimal. But Sot isn't classic. You're right. You got me there. You did get me there. I, I, I was making a little bit of a prank. It was a little bit of a joke, but I do see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I can get that, right? Way. In my opinion, a more complicated rotation when performed optimally should always out DPS a single button rotation. Fair some point. classes like Marksman Hunter got some amazing reworks and their rotation mm. is extremely fun. So it, I it, it can definitely be quite sad, like being amazed and be like, okay, I got a spam frost firebolt. And then you got like hunters with like a cool new like melee spec and you got like, all those kind of things, right? I do I want to compliment that. Blizzard on certain classes being exciting and incredibly fun to play. 
but that hasn't been the case for every class. Yep. And currently, the melee DPS are outperforming the ranged classes by a lot in terms of as all things should be of DPS. An attempt to balance that hasn't even been made yet, and certainly worries me for phase four when the melee get even stronger than the casters with scaling. I, I think it's, it's also just difficult with this whole situation because of the way scaling works, right? And if you want to balance it with PvP and PvE, because they were, casters would just be completely broken for PvE, PvP, but not for PvE. And it's really it's a really difficult thing to balance this whole thing, actually. It, it, it very much is. Stronger than the casters with scaling. Time gating content. World of Warcraft yeah. is known for time gating, but in this case, four phases might have been a bit too much. Most WoW players play for the end game content. Yeah. And we've been playing for six months now, and we're still not in the end game. My personal opinion is that this was stretched out too much. Players, I agree with this, and I said this earlier as well. I do think the time gating is a cool idea, but I, I will say for my personal preference, there has been too long for each phase, right? There, 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 it's been too much where like you kind of lose the hype for like, you know, the next stuff or some Adrian. They should not even try to balance it for PvP before level 60. Ain't happening in a waste of their time. Yeah, I mean, the 20 meta, the 40, 50 meta, like it's not end game, right? Um, so it's it's difficult to really get a feel for how the, the, the game would be at the end, right? ...are ready to play at max level with their full potential and do the traditional classic raids that they love. Some mm -hmm. people are just waiting for phase four so they can finally play the game. Classic used to be about the leveling experience, but with the 150% XP boost, mm. leveling is not really part of the game anymore. It's a rush to end game, and there really isn't an end game to even get to yet. 20 man raids. I, I don't think SOD is all about the leveling. For me personally, SOD is all about discovering the new content. And the, the leveling isn't the new content, I feel like. You know, if they would make a new zone or something, then that would be hype, right? But it is about the runes, it's about like, your new specs and your new class, the new way to play that and stuff like that. It's about the new content, yeah. That's why, I, I think that's why so many people are looking forward to level 60 as well, because there's gonna be hopefully a new raid and hopefully some new stuff that we haven't seen before, right? It's about parsing and gatekeeping instead of just having fun. Well, welcome to gaming in 2024, and yo. It, it kinda sucks, but that's how a lot of people play games now, right? This is something that I wasn't expecting, but people don't like 20 man raiding. Phase 1 and 2, we had 10-man raids, and mm. guilds started setting up for that. Now, it's 20-man, and guilds are trying to recruit to fill their slots, but they can't. Okay. There's too many guilds and not enough players. Smaller raids are actually preferred over larger raids. I personally love the energy in 40-man classic raids, but I understand the pain that guild leaders have to go through to recruit 40 yeah. players. That being said, 20-man MC and BWL might be okay, but maybe they should take it down to 10-man with Oni, ZGs, and some of okay. the other raids like AQ20. That might. I, I don't have too much to say about this. I, I, I don't mind 20-man raiding, and I also don't really mind 10-man raiding. I, I, don't, I, I think 20-man is like a good in-between, sort of. Uh, but for my personal preference, 40 man is definitely a little bit too uh, much uh, to manage. But that's because I would probably have to set up the raids, and I probably wouldn't enjoy that very much. 10 man feels like glorified dungeons. Just make it flexible like retail. I, I, I kind of like the flexible stuff, but I, I don't think they're going to do that for, for, for Sod, right? Be the way I see Sod going in the future, because people really tend to like these smaller raids. Loot. Mm -hmm. In the first two phases, devs gave us some of the best loot we've ever seen in Classic WoW. Yep. Phase 1 had level 25 gear that was extremely powerful with items like the Keller Staff being on par with the Staff of Jordan. More of the same in Nomer, Crowd Pummeler, insane, insane three set bonuses, and Trinkets. But in P3, Blizzard decided to scale back gear power and it left many classes only needed minor upgrades yeah. from the raid. Loot is the main reason people raid, and if they don't have upgrades to go for, they quit raiding. You yep. get a solid set of gear from the Nightmare Incursions, and that gear is perfectly fine to take you all the way to 60. The, the upgrades are so minor from that, and ST, why even waste your time? Griefing on- The, the gear was just too good. Like, <laughs> it's just too good early on, and then they can't just keep opping up the scales because suddenly then we'll be having like 30,000 health by level 60, right? PvP, but sir. I agree. The, the, there's not a lot of exciting gear in Sungin Temple. There's only there for each class. There's maybe like a weapon and like a, you know the set pieces, and that's pretty much it, right? In terms of exciting loot. Servers. But yeah, this is something not everyone can relate to. Dude, I yeah, I was here this morning, dude. I am always so blown away about how much time people will spend griefing. It is, it is actually impressive. It, it, people will literally play this game specifically just to grieve. 
but Blizzard obviously knows it's a problem yeah. because they opened up free transfers for people it's to insane. leave the PvP servers. Camping the it's DMF buffs, camping the nightmare why. incursions, and camping outside of oh. instances seems yeah. to be the new meta for being the most annoying way to play WoW. <laughs> On a PvP server, you spend a lot of time running back to your body, and that's just not my ideal way of spending time in the game. I mean, frankly, though, that's always been vanilla. It is what it is, right? PvP servers, they, they, they can be misery, man. They can be misery, but they've always been like that. Yeah. It, yeah you kind of, when you decide to go on the PvP server, you know what you're signing up for, man. You know, it, it just, it is what it is. I recently transferred two of my characters to a PvE server That's and my fair. quality of life has just gone way up. Cataclysm. Cataclysm pre-patch came out recently and after playing some of the classes, I can honestly say that the class design in Cataclysm is so much better than I thought it would be. Fire okay. Mage is insanely strong and fun to play with instant Oop. flame strike cast and fire blast mechanics spreading your dots. I made a blood DK. They do insane damage. Their threat is amazing and they're self-healing. And it made me realize that class design alone can be a reason to play one version of WoW over another. True. The game is extremely fun to play and the raids are challenging. For me, mm. I've decided to play Cat until Phase 4 comes out because the game is just more fun. And cool. I've been craving that in-game experience that Saw just doesn't have. I mean, I I've been playing a buttload of Dragonflight as well because it's kind of been having... It's been... It's been fun, man. It's been fun. But I'm definitely going to give Cataclysm a try as well. I'm still... I'm still very much on the fence about Cataclysm. Like, how hyped I am, how excited... I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from it, but... I mean, we'll see, right? Illa, Shaman, leveling, when? I've just been having a lot of fun with Dragonfly. That's why I put put it on the shelf with the leveling a little bit. But I'm probably going to be, you know, jumping on the Warrior for Cataclysm when it comes out. An experience that Saw just doesn't have. Yeah. So what does Blizzard need to do to make you excited about playing Phase 4? Okay. I asked my chat this question, and we came up with a list of suggestions. Okay. No more XP from incursions after level 50. Or you can make incursions a five-man raid with a one-day lockout. Disable okay. PvP outside of instances and in the DMF area to reduce griefing. Make runes and rep... Mm, I, I don't know if they're going to do that. I highly doubt that. It's just going to be like a PvE angle, like PvE server angle. Like if, 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 if it really bothers people with the PvP stuff, just PvE server, right? I mean, that's why they're there, right? Let's be honest. I, I absolutely do not enjoy the griefing myself as well. I mean, I'm going to be real. It, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it is what it is. But, you know, I, I rolled the dice of a PvP server, right? So... I, I, that's a, a thing for the future, I'll, I'll, I have learned at least. ...instances and in the DMF area to reduce griefing. Okay. Make runes and rep account-wide so that people don't have to farm them again on their alts. I can see it with the, with the rep with the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The boxes, whatever. I can see that being frustrating. Molten Core should be moderately difficult to encourage players to go after previous gear like SGC, Hodge, Ironfoe, and their 0.5 quest chains. They shouldn't be able to just go in and clear it in greens. I don't know. I I would be much more excited to see new raids again, man. But I do think that they actually should be... A, that it, farming previous is fun. It, it is really fun, right? And it's a little bit of a shame that haven't gotten to like actually farm, you know, previous and shit like that. But I would definitely still like to see newer like a new raid right that we've never seen before uh, i don't think it necessarily needs to be like insanely difficult because i don't think that's the big appeal for sod blizzard has been listening to players so far on sod so these changes must come for players from player suggestions i think blizzard has done a great job with, with sod so far and i think it's been a fun experiment because you know and, and again keep in mind it is a seasonal thing right so they're learning a bunch of stuff what people want and what people don't want the previous grind is one of the most exciting things about World of Warcraft, and yeah. I feel like that's been taken out of the game from phase one through three. New fishing and cooking content, new towns and quest hubs, class balancing and class reworks for okay. the one button rotation classes, more acquiring runes from just- I, I can see wanting there to be a little bit more spice with the classes, right? Playing the game. For example, runes that come from raid, dungeons, and PvP. Maybe a vendor to unlock runes from the previous phase, a quality of life okay. improvement for mage tables, pally buffs, etc. And the ability to create rune sets where you swap all of your runes instantly when you swap specs. Okay, that one could be nice. I, I, I think he's asking for a lot though. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, I think it's a lot to ask for. These last suggestions are a bit questionable, but they resonate well with me. Harder content in general that doesn't necessarily give loot, like Mythic Plus, a Duelers League, okay. Rated BGs, and challenge modes that give titles and cosmetics to go after. That 
if it's a seasonal thing, is is there like a a lot of reasons for for wanting cosmetics and stuff like that? I can see red red battlegrounds though being really really enjoyable. I I can see this. Oh. The ra the rated battlegrounds can could, could be a, a fun way of doing that, but Blizzard should add to the game in Phase Four. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, at this point, yeah, I don't want you guys to just play retail at that point because retail actually has all those things and they're doing it really well. They're, they're like they're actually like Mythic Plus is insanely good. Like the rating is good. There's like RBGs, all that shit, right? Um, I think I think Son for for a big reason has made me realize if I wanted to see like a more custom version of Vanilla WoW, I would actually like to see it be a way 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 more pulled back in terms of the extreme new abilities and stuff like that, and just have them work on like the zones and some content that's like a new raid or new dungeons and stuff like that. I think that would be a lot more interesting for me personally if it were to happen again, right? If they were to be doing a new season, right? It would I would really love to see it just be very like almost almost just vanilla class design with very minor tweaks if any and just focus on new content like new raids and dungeons and zones and shit i think that'd be cool um but yeah interesting video though nonetheless it's it's fun hearing people what the, what they think about it i don't agree with every single thing that he's saying in it but i i i can definitely see and i do agree with that uh, partially some of the stuff that has made Saw die in a way. I don't think Saw is dead. I think people are just raid logging. <laughs>